Beat Me by the Beatles can be played on ukulele with four simple chords and we're also going to be looking at a few melody embellishments that we can add to this really simply. Grab your uke and join me in learning this wonderful song. This song uses the most common four chords that we can learn on ukulele. The C chord, G, A minor, and F. This is otherwise known as a four chord song. The order does change slightly, but it really, if you know those chords, you can play this song and hundreds of others. I'll be sure to leave uh, some links down in the description below to some helpful other lessons that you might enjoy if you, if you can play this song. So we want the C chord changing to G, to A minor, which I would play with my middle finger, so that we can add that first finger then to make an F. It's those same chords again. But then we go straight to the F this time, finishing on C. As an example, when I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. Okay, now the melody that we can add to that is after we've played the uh, final F of that progression, where we go F back to C, there's a little walk down these four notes. These are four notes from the C major scale. That C major scale in full would be the best practice just if this song is at all at your level if you haven't covered it yet. A brief demo. That's the full scale and descending. And it's those last four notes. One, two, three, four that make this melody, and are the, really the signature hook of this song. Really worth learning that scale, I'll leave a uh, link to that in the description below. The strumming pattern would be down, 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 up, per chord that we play. Down, 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 up. Down, 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 up, down. Down, down, up, down. Down, down, up, down. Now there's a sneaky tip here that not many people will tell you, but it's so important, and uh, that is to lift up on that last up strum. Down, 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 up. Lift off your fingers totally to change, to give yourself time to change to the next chord. Watch this time. Down, 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 up, down. Down, down, up, down. Down, down, up. Obviously that one we don't have to lift off a finger, we just want to put that one down. However, it can sound really odd when we do it really slow. But when we do it up to tempo, you suddenly realise that that's what everyone's doing that can play up to speed. Um, so it's something that you need to consciously practice when you're playing it slowly. When you're learning this, down, down, up, down. Down, down, up. And with that G chord, we need to really make that chord in the air before we put it down to make that faster change. When I've lifted off, my fingers are already in the shape of that G chord before I put it down. Those would be my top tips. When we can do that strumming pattern, we do the same thing for the second progression. We strum the F and then pick the open string two, second fret string three, open string three. When we play the F, we've kind of already played this note, the F note that we would da, 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 da. We've already played it, so that second progression. The chorus just changes the first chord. The first chord of the chorus is A minor, 
and everything else is exactly the same, even with the little melody. For example, let it be. That's the A minor to G. Let it be, let it be, let it be. There will be an answer, let it be. Okay, so once you know the verse, you kind of know the chorus as well. You just need to keep that in mind. So we're going to go for a little playthrough now of the verse and then the chorus. I'm going to use that strumming pattern, but if you're struggling with that, just play once per chord. When you see the chord change, just strum as soon as you see me put down the, the next chord, okay? Just strum then, because it is, it's fast changes. This is an, a late beginner ukulele song for sure, late beginner. So um, go easy on this one. It does take a little bit of practice, but you will get it. And you can join in with me from the C chord in two, three, four. Ready on the C chord, same as that again. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. And in my hour of darkness, she is standing right in front of me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. Chorus, everything exactly the same, first chord, A minor. That's the only change. Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. There will be an answer, let it be. Chorus again, dead slow. One strum per chord if you have to. I'll do that one strum per chord this time, just in case. Join in, two. Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. Whisper words of wisdom, let it be. Run down. If you can do that rundown, there's one other section, which is just like a, a middle part of the song, which goes like this. Cool. Please try this. Watch one more time just to get an idea. We play an F chord, a C chord, G, F, C. It's uh, so much of what we've already done, but we just need to think about this. So chords first of all, F, C, G, F, C. With that melody, F chord, so the only picking sections were those two notes and then these two notes. One more time. And a full demo. That's how to play Let It Be by the Beatles, and you can play along to the original recording uh, with this one. No capo needed or anything like that. I highly encourage you to do that. It's a really fun thing to do, to join in join in with these bands and this music that um, we love so much and uh, you also don't have to listen to my ropey singing either. Thank you so much for checking out this song. I'll leave a couple of other uh, recommended ones on the screen for you now and I hope to see you guys next time. <laughs> dink, dink.